Last night, the Country Music Association, or CMA, awards were held. The night's big winner was Blake Shelton, who took home three awards, including the biggest award, Entertainer of the Year, along with Male Vocalist of the Year, and Song of the Year, an honor he shared with his wife, Miranda Lambert, for the emotional ballad, Over You. Lambert herself, for the third time, took home the Female Vocalist Award. Eric Church won Album of the Year for his record, Chief, and country music sensation Taylor Swift, who was predicted to win the Entertainer of the Year Award, was nominated for a total of three CMAs, but took home none. The show, hosted for the fifth year in a row by Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood, began with a tribute to the victims of Hurricane Sandy and encouraged viewers to donate to the Red Cross, which is what we're here encouraging you guys to do. You can still do that at redcross.org or by texting Red Cross at 90999. 79-year-old Willie Nelson was paid tribute by being given the first Willie Nelson Lifetime Achievement Award and had the chance to be honored by many other country artists and the opportunity to perform himself. The show's other performers were Dirks Bentley, Little Big Town, Taylor Swift, Jason Aldean, Keith Urban, and many more. Well, the singer of the popular extreme metal band Suicide Silence passed away yesterday morning in Riverside, California. The Orange County coroner confirmed yesterday morning that 28-year-old Mitch Lucker had died from his injuries incurred from a motorcycle accident. Lucker was pronounced dead at 6.17 a.m. at UCI Medical Center in Orange County. Lucker, who lives in Huntington Beach, crashed his motorcycle shortly after 9 p.m. last night. Suicide Silence formed back in 2002 and since then has released three full-length studio albums, one EP, and seven music videos. In 2009, Suicide Silence was awarded the Revolver Golden God Award for Best New Talent. In May of 2005, the last film of the Star Wars franchise was released. The creator of the films, George Lucas, said that it was the end of the series. That statement now is a thing of the past as Lucas has sold his company, Lucasfilm, to the Walt Disney Company who plans on making three more Star Wars films. The first film for now is being called Episode 7 and is expected to be released in 2015, which will be followed soon after by Episodes 8 and 9. 68-year-old jo George Lucas will still be involved with the films as a creative consultant and is very excited excited for what is to come. As with the reboot of the series back in 1999, there have been some mixed feelings by fans and critics alike as to whether this is tampering with the first trilogy of the series that ran from 1977 to 1983. Nevertheless, so the series has made overall $4.4 billion and the upcoming 2015 film is expected to add even more to that number.